how we doing? What's going I'm doing on? All right. How you guys? We're doing, doing fantastic. Oh yeah, fantastic. Jack, where are we at today? Well, in honor of the uh, three-year anniversary of the COVID-19 pandemic, I decided to spend my time here in a Wuhan wet market. <laughs> oh, see, I came down. Not. You did I came not, down, dude. I came, I came down to ground zero to see what was what. <laughs> Fauci said it didn't start here, but I talked to my my boy Chi over there, and he said it, <laughs> started, like, it, it started like three stalls down from his competitor who sells the similar product. But Dude, yeah. boots on the ground. Yeah, we're here to find out. You thought, dude, there is nowhere that pop culture rehab won't go to bring you a story. And dude, and they're all wearing masks. I was like, mm, not for me, dude. Not not my look. You know what yeah, I mean, dude? Yeah, you're 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 immune. You've got that fucking that Midwest in you, dude. No mask in the world can hide the fucking horrible stench I'm smelling right now. I can just tell you that <laughs> much, dude. You got that Moderna, dude. Oh God, These guys can't dude. say this guy's behind you can't say they got that Moderna. Look at that motherfucker. He didn't have the he does he's not covered his nose, dude. Damn. Yeah, bro. You need to turn around. Hey, tell that turn around quick. Tell that guy to put his fucking tell those Johnson and Johnson. Other way. Other way. Yeah. Tell him. Tell him to pull his mask up. Tell him to pull his mask up. Just tell him off. Hey. hey. (laughs) Chin diaper gotta go, bro. (laughs) Yeah, good shit. Yeah, dude, get the fuck out of here. I mean, these people in Wuhan, what are the three years in? These motherfuckers still ain't taking it serious. What is this? (laughs) Dude, I, I I told him you need to you need to be like me and you need to get your fifth dose and sixth dose right before you come, and then you can you know be maskless. But they they don't they don't really believe in science here. I guess you know. No, it's not, not like us. We we tr- this how in this house we trust science. You get that's, any why, that's why two stalls down they're still selling rhino horn as fucking erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude have you ever taken that black rhino powder? Mm. No, <laughs> bro. You try try, try like not an otter box. try not having a hard dick when you do that. It's impossible. I don't need pita <laughs> at my door or uh, horny goat weed. Isn't that the other one's called horny goat weed? Horny goat weed, yeah. Dude, go. I've never taken gas station pills ever in my life. Like out of all the disgusting <laughs> things that I've put in my body, uh, the I, stacker yeah, two pills count. No, I didn't even do that. I oh, dude, I, I never. Uh, I, my cousin did, uh, he used to, when in the bed of his truck was always, um, do you remember what, what the fuck was that energy drink with alcohol in it? Um, Oh, four loco. Four loco? Yeah. No. Um, back in the day it's called, um, um cocaine. Dude, no. Uh, but anyway, like if you look into the back, I'm about to Google it, but, um, he, um, if you look in the back of his red pickup truck, it was just empty cans of that and empty stacker two pills. <laughs> like, yeah. What the fuck is this? No, like, just, it was a stripper in- that got me into stacker two because, like, I guess strippers use that shit a lot. They used they call them bumblebees. They're black with the yellow stripe. They call them bumblebees. Wait, why would, a, why would a stripper take Sparks. a stacker two? Spark because they work because they work long overnight shifts. Oh, was it like it, it was like meth? I thought it was, I thought it was like a men's dick pill. I thought stacker no, two. Was no, like, no, no, stacker two. Like it's a, like caffeine, a diet pill. Yeah, it's a diet pill essentially. So it gives you a boost of energy. And so when girls don't want to do hard drugs, a lot of the a lot of the girls at those clubs will pop uh, black beauties. A stacky stacker. two. Remember stacker two? Wasn't it stacker two commercials at, during wrestling? WWF. Yeah. It was like yeah. Stacker I only think two. I only think of re- like wrestling and I like I think of stacker two commercials through jerry the king waller's lips it was like snickers bar yeah stacker two and like lug boots like well and uh um what was the uh f- what was the engine oil Petrol oil. dtx Castrol dtx uh, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's stewart's inner redneck just came fucking right out that that's that's midwest kid right there that's oil was uh mark martin in nascar <laughs> <laughs> He's like, learn your shit, Jack. Yeah, you know, you're fucking, yeah, shit fucking, you're fuck, you're you fucking up the show, dude. You're yeah, not white dude, trash dude. enough for this. <laughs> yeah, no wonder the show's not selling. Fucking, we got this bougie Actually, motherfucker up here. Dude, the- self-flagellation for a moment about, about my white trashness. I never noticed that the font of Dale Jr.'s 8 was the same as Dale Sr.'s 3. Missed that. Yeah. I, yeah, I noticed that today, and I wanted to, like, whip card myself. revoked. Everybody yeah. say goodbye to Stuart because my, this is his final <laughs> show on Pop Culture Rehab. Yeah, it's bad. over for him. We're going to, yep, peace <laughs> out. 
he he lost all credibility with the people he sells boats to until <laughs> and then they were like they're like wait the they're fuck? like you didn't know that shit he gets all these phone calls the next day they're like you're like yeah bro get they're like cancel that shit we heard, heard about the show. you you're fucked we heard that shit you didn't know mark martin one fucking I don't know. I was gonna bring up some race, but I can't even think one. What Brickstone? I guess that's. Was I that bet he can't race? even name five drivers in the he Infinity Series. Darlington. Damn. Well, yeah. Well, I guess before we get into, uh, you know, we brought up wrestling. Before we get into what we want to get into today, because I think we might as well start off because this is hot news. Like this is right before we got on here. News: the Stephanie, uh, um, fucking uh, Vince news, which which I called last week. If anybody tuned in last week, yes, you did. Uh, I fucking within 24 hours of me talking about Vince McMahon being big dick in UFC again or WWE, it was going to happen and it happened. Um, but uh, yeah, the stacker. So can we, before we do that though, sparks is the energy drink I was talking about front office. Can we get a, oh, can we get you a, hey. can we get a picture of that dirty ass sparks can? I, I don't remember. This. For, was this OG for loco? This is way before full loco. I thought for loco. for loco was the first like caffeinated, Oh like, no, alcohol. dude! I was drinking yeah, I these. I thought with, was first. I was yeah. drinking these with, uh, I don't want to name. I guess my cousin in Fenton. Yeah. Uh, I was drinking with him when I was like at dick. 15, 16. <laughs> like, it, yeah, yeah, hat dick. Oh, that guy, hat dick. <laughs> yes, sir, dude. Those were the the orange cans. Never had the black ones, but the orange cans were. They sold them at the uh, at their gas station. That's okay, premium American American gross beverage. Seven yeah. percent. Not bad. Uh they got you fucked up. <laughs> bad. So, yeah, yeah, when you're would... fucking 15, anything gets you fucked up. <laughs> Especially sparks and fucking stacker two, which I wasn't doing stacker two pills. I was watching him do stacker two pills, but uh Dude, Sparks were the OGs. They were so good, though, too. They're like lime. The color looks like lime green. It looked like an energy drink. Like it was real deal, fucking like. You felt like, like it you was too drinking. good. Why they had to take it out of stores? Probably. I don't think it is out of stores. I think it's just. I think Four Locos and other things have Where just. Where the fuck can you get a Sparks, my my dude, guy? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Say, let me. Apparently, they expanded a little bit because they have other. Oh, 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 oh. oh get you the see fuck that? Out. You hear watch, that, motherfucker? Yeah. Watch out, Logan Black Paul. Berry. We're coming for your ass. Dude, they got iced tea? new drink Le on the lemonade, market. dude. Iced tea might, you know, I don't know, maybe well, sparks iced tea. You guys are gonna have to maybe. let me know. That shit's probably more tasty than Prime. Which, uh, so if somebody explained to me why they're killing, like fighting each other about over these and over in England or whatever, why is that a thing? Are they like selling out over there, or like why are people going nuts about that drink over there? Because they, what I drink? was watching. Prime. You're talking about pr yeah. Prime? Yeah, the yeah. drink made by Logan Paul and KSI. Yeah, I heard so, it's super underwhelming, dude. They were, I heard it's, they were, yeah, I heard it's not top. tasty. They sell it at Target now, too. Yeah, and the bottle looks like shit. But everywhere I've been talking, like, I keep hearing about, like, they're like, I don't know if it's like just selling out over there, but people are like fighting over cases of this shit over there. So mm -hmm. I, I uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the clout. F people like to see be seen with the bottle, with the logo. People like to be seen with the Starbucks logo. People want to. I haven't tried it though, but, Dude, but no, I, I, I would not want to be target. associated with. I would not want to be associated with Logan Paul, and I have already in the past associated with Jeffrey Epstein, Kevin Spacey, and worse. So is he the one is is Logan Paul the one that's in trouble right now because of the pig? He he's in trouble for a lot of things. So the pig is kind of <laughs> it's so it's funny because the pig is kind of like the tip of the iceberg because uh, I heard the pig story's fake. I hate Logan Paul, so, but I heard the pig stories. Fake. Yeah, so even without that, the crypto zoom is what's really got him. Got his ass. So crypto zoom. I brought this up in our, in our group chat earlier um, is a cryptocurrency game. And I'm sure pe uh, our front office knows a little bit about this. It's like a, he, like a year ago, Logan Paul had this idea of making like a crypto based game, like an NFT based game where you can like buy eggs and then you hatch these eggs and they become NFT animals, like base animals. And then you right. can breed these with other animals across this game and create like hybrid animals. And like the, and then sometimes they're more rare and like whatever. Dude, so as like far this, as NFTs go, it sounds kind of cool. It, it, so, so that's what it was. It sounded tight as shit. Like the game it was sounded like cool. Pokemon for crypto. I still play like Pokemon. So line. fuck yeah. I'm a... So what if you got your your uh what is it called crypto zoo 
NFT. Crypto zoo. There's a and zoo token it, with and you, animals in and it. And you and you bred it with your Trump NFT and create a I fucking mean, super monster. You fucking, probably just you probably get Logan Paul. Stop, <laughs> yeah, you get it's Logan like Paul. Paul. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. I'm not <laughs> it just a turns monster. into Logan Paul. That'd I'm be so fucking bad. But anyway, so you know, but this turns out to be so Logan Paul is basically the face of this and uh, it, I, I don't, I can't get too, too much into it. Cause I'm, I mean, I even just watched coffee. So Coffeezilla is a big guy on YouTube. Uh, if anybody doesn't know him, um, he basically just goes after fraudsters, um, and scammers on Instagram or on YouTube. And he is amazing. Yeah, at what I saw he does. his video. Yeah. And he, and Logan Paul is like the, the, the latest and his two guys are like the latest, uh, victims of this. And he did a three part series and just basically, destroyed them because it's the latest like i guess what they call this in the in that world the, or it's like a rug pull type of ponzi scheme where like right. uh, you know they're trying to flood the, flood the coin get it you know as so basically what they pump were it, doing is pump, pump it and then pump and dump and they were and and they were trying to ha so that that's coffeezilla right there if anybody watching uh with the visual that's his video right there it's actually three parts it's really really good um but he it's Logan a bunch Paul's, of people like talking about how much money they lost. Like kid like guys are like, Yeah, I lost a hundred thousand dollars. Some people are like, I lost twenty five thousand dollars. I'm like, it's part wild. Of me, part of me part of me has a hard time feeling sorry for oh well, absolutely. Though. I mean, people who bought coins because and then you, they're like, Well, I bought it because I trusted Logan Paul. Who if, if <laughs> anybody remembers, idiot. if anybody remember, I don't know much about this either, but he had some coin called Doink Doink or something too before that, which just within this recently is a coin he created, which was also a scam. So he came out before this and said, I'm a change guy. You know, I can't, I care about my fans. I've learned my lesson. Like I've back in the day, I was just about money, but now I care about my fan base. And then he turns out to be fucking them again. But the, the thing here is, is he was more of like, uh, the which face of this. Which is why he moved to Puerto Rico to avoid taxes, right? I mean, and and his bro, I think Jake Paul, I think lives in Thailand and he boxes out because he like trains boxing in Thailand. But Logan Paul was kind of like kind of got fucked on this. So so what Logan Paul saying now is, is he made no money from this. He put money into it, made no money for it because he had two guys that were smarter than him working working with him on this. And when when this happened, so what happened? What they did was is they you know there's a thing called a pre sale on these new coins where they'll open them up and they'll sell them kind of at a discount price. Um, and then like, you know, so people can got, kind of get in early and buy a bunch. And then when it goes live, you, you know, you made, you made your, your purchase a little cheaper than everybody else. But that, uh, you know, that opens you up to IRS and a bunch of regulations, a bunch of shit like that. Where like, you know, the government's watching at that point. They didn't want that because they, they were scamming obviously. So they did a silent launch and were funneling all their money into this coin. And all while this was going on, they had a second coin that they were going to officially launch and then convert that first coin into the second coin. And they were, you know, so it's just this whole scam. And then they were going to dump it all. One of the guys, the two guys involved basically it, it, so it fucked Logan Paul. So the way that Hassan, Jack's favorite guy, described it is a bank robbery. If you, if us three conspire to rob a bank and there's text messages. So the, the worst part about this is, is that they've gotten out somebody hacked or somebody leaked all of the text messages in their group chat. Mm -hmm. So like Logan Paul, it's like them talking about fucking everybody. And, wow. uh, but the, but the worst part is so he, so the way he put it was, is that say the three of us conspire to rob a bank. There's text messages that I have. We are, we are all conspired to bank. We conspired to rob, rob a bank. We do rob the bank. But then you two guys run off with all the money and leave me fucked. And then I go and say, well, I never robbed the bank. I don't, I never made any money from this. You know, right. that's basically what he's doing. He goes, I never made any money from this because the other two guys fucked him and ran off with all this money. So what happened was they, it was supposed to only be those three guys that knew about this pre-sale. So when they launched it, those three guys would buy up this whole coin and then it would, then they would make all the money. Well, so what, what I, what I find funny about all this too, is like just the timing of it. Because um, if you guys know about Logan Paul, he has that podcast called impulsive and he brings on like really big guests onto that show. Yada, yada. <laughs> One of the guests that he was bringing around at this exact same time, funny enough was Kevin O'Leary from shark tank, Mr. Wonderful, the guy yeah. who, famously got fucked in the ftx stuff ftx yes sir and so you know part of you has to like kind of think like you he's know he's a big like, prime investor too isn't he i think he's a huge prime investor 
Kevin O'Leary. Maybe he is now, but I don't. I think they like got him to try it when he was on their show or something. Okay, yeah, I could be wrong. But but um, long story short, like I'm basically saying, like you, like I'm wondering if like these guys just like thought, like maybe maybe he stole that from FTX's playbook because kind of like in the same way, like all the FTX token holders owned it before they launched the billion dollar marketing campaign with the stadium buys, the Tom Brady endorsements. And then obviously as people f- flock to the platform, all the people who originally had these FTX tokens, it start the value of it goes up and that's how all these people get fucked. It, it, it's kind of like the same thing, but at a larger scale. So it just like, it doesn't surprise anybody that Logan Paul like is not only shallow enough to do a fucking crypto pump and dump on all of his fans but it, like stupid enough to not end up making money off of it i think that's super believable like well, and the worst really part about it, the worst it's part only logan, our, it can only happen to logan paul yeah and and the worst part about it is is that like he he's still like is so he's still keeping it going so what happened was so after coffeezilla did all this basically and 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 proved that this was a whole scam and Logan Paul did know about it. And Logan Paul basically just got the rug pulled out from underneath him and his own rug pull. The two guys smarter than him, fucked him and told all their friends about it. And they all bought all this shit. And then, you know, basically screwed Logan Paul out of it. He came out and made this big explanation on impulsive, the show Jack's talking about, and basically said, you know, they like tore apart this coffeezilla video, called all these things like, tore it apart, said he broke laws, threatened to sue him, all this type of shit like that. Um, and then CoffeeZilla was, was like threatening a reply. And then all of a sudden, Logan Paul takes the video down and then pull, makes a post saying he is basically working with, Co- you know, he's he's dropping all this stuff against CoffeeZilla. He actually agrees with all the CoffeeZilla stuff. And he's still going to keep this progress project going. He has hope for crypto zoo. And basically like he's, he's hope he hopes everybody like holds on and for the ride. And like, he's going to make this right. And it's like to the moon, bro, bro, get the fuck out of here. It's a scam, bro. 100% (laughs) premeditated. Nobody's buying that. Get out of here. It's a shitty but, name too, crypto zoo. Crypto zoo. Like, what the f- but but it's a cool idea, like Stuart said. Like it really was a cool. It's appealing. Like yeah. you could really just the you could have two NFTs. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about NFTs. I don't really understand it. I don't care to really understand it. But that like premise and that, yeah, that sounds as fun as a NFT could possibly be. Yeah. So like, of course, and then, you know, it, like Jack was saying, if, if you, if you watch these videos and you see some of these people, they're like, yeah, I lost like a hundred grand. And like, they're all, they're like the same kind of guys that like, go get like, you know, who like follow Justin Bieber, who are like forties and like love Justin Bieber or like still like, you know, they're like all virgins and like, they're just like, they're all, they're all in their mom's basement. Like, but they make a bunch of money because they probably just stock trade their, their parents' basement. But exactly. like, yeah, they're, but they're like, yeah, because he asked me, he's like, so what made this different? Like, why would you go on this? Why would you risk all this money on this new coin? He's like, well, I trusted it because because Logan, like, you know, it was mainly Logan. And it was like, well, that's why you deserve <laughs> to so lose. fucking stupid. That's dude. why you deserve to lose every fucking dollar <laughs> you lost. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad you got fucked. <laughs> you trusted <laughs> like, the guy who literally, like, took a picture in a Japanese forest with a person who was <laughs> committing Sudoku or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Sudoku. <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't need, I need, that's a joke, Stu. Come on. Give me a fucking break. Dude, yeah, in the dude. bathroom. <laughs> he, he was committing Harry Carry. Yeah. <laughs> he, was com- he was committing chicken fried rice. <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, dude, it's, it's, it's really fucked up that people... Um, fell for this and but it is hilarious and that's what you fucking get for 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 buying a logan paul thing but back to the pig thing that that's like kind of like i almost feel like the pig thing wouldn't be a big deal if if it wasn't like rain i feel like the whole world is kind of the last okay, so, 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 so let me because well, i think i know the most about the story because i saw it today and i actually had to do some digging because so i was like oh he fucked up he he like abandon a pig that like in the middle of the <laughs> woods or something like that. That's like, I mean, it's kind of funny. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's kind of, you still have a picture with him with the little pig when it was a baby. Yeah. Girl. I saw, I saw, I saw everything. Okay. But, but here's, here's what, here's what, according to a deeper dive, cause you know, I, I'm a conspiracy guy. I gotta get to the bottom of everything. <laughs> sure. um, Cracker Jack conspiracy hour. 
Apparently the pig took two hands between Logan and ending up being abandoned. He like sold it to a farm who sold it to another farm who abandoned it. Yeah. So I heard that was fake news. So this looks pretty you, damning to me. But, guys. But, that, the, but that's me. You know, I'm, I'm the one to give <laughs> him. He's out here playing with the pig. You guys, Come you guys on. can't you believe sure? everything you hear from me. Uh, yeah. what I, I believe, I, what I I had believe read it all. Was, he was moving to Puerto Rico. You can't transfer a pig, I guess, to Puerto Rico. <laughs> So he gave it to a horse farm that was like across the street. They were like, yeah, oh, that's yeah, why we'll me and your mom never went on vacation there, Stu. You can't take a pig to Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Glad. You mean kick him off, Stu. You mean kick him off of the show. They're like, they're like, sir, what is what's making all that noise in the back? They're like, that's my plus one. They're like, don't worry about it. <laughs> her papers are good. <laughs> oh shit, she just got her shots. So anyway, keep she keep, reeks. Keep going. <laughs> she reeks. <laughs> sir, she's being unruly with the other sir, She literally plays in shit. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so anyway, so this fucking pig, so he didn't leave this pig looking dire and just and, and pathetic looking. Uh, like he gave he gave it to a horse farm that promised that they'd take <laughs> care of it. The situation came up where they had to get rid of it. They gave it to another farm, and then they're the ones that called it in and said, "Hey, we can't keep taking care of this thing." And then they found it, and it it was not in the best of shape. It had like an infection in its uterus or some shit. I, it was yeah. pretty gnarly. That's when you turn that thing into bacon, right? <laughs> Maybe. Just two to the back just, of the head, turn that thing into bacon. It's a lot of bacon, too. Yeah, dude. That's not, that doesn't I need sound to like find, a problem. I need to find... So Sounds Ethan like Klein, the, that fuck from HCS, or was it H3? Um, H3. He, he looks like so a him, him and Aiden Ross are at like are beefing right now for something. I don't fucking know. But Aiden Ross is a tater. Yeah, that so that's kind of what it is. But then I guess Aiden, so Aiden Ross came back and said like, and some guy on a stream said he would beat the fuck out of him. What's his Ethan if he ever saw him and called his wife ugly and a bunch of other shit. Um, but he just uploaded something right before he got on here because uh, I forgot about this pig thing. But he said yesterday, twenty hours ago, he also did a thing on Logan Paul's pet pig. But then three hours ago, it says, "Why did Logan Paul shoot this coyote?" And it's a video on, Lyle, <laughs> on, on, on Logan Paul shooting. Why, something. Logan? Why? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know anything about it, but I feel like that's something that maybe like <laughs> we need to look into it over time. Because, I mean, is, is, is Logan Paul just out here fucking abusing? You know? I, mean, is that... I like the idea but, of him just doing that for content. Like fucking. I mean, in like... some areas, the coyotes are like in L.A. Coyotes are like they, they get into urban areas and they're like mad aggressive. He just tweeted this. <laughs> I thought that was funny. The Matrix is real. Pray you never become its target. Oh, Makes that's the little, same little, thing. little tip of the hat to uh, Andrew Tate there. There it is. Full circle. Damn, dude. Oh, yeah, because he said the Matrix got him. Yeah. That's right. Full circle. Damn, Mul dude. He's made multiple statements saying the Matrix is after him. Yeah, so, and right before we got on here, uh, so we, again, you know, we shoot this on Tuesdays. Today is the, what, 10th? Um, they just denied Andrew Tate's appeal for, you know, cause he's not, cause right now he's on like a 30 day detention or something. Um, and he was yeah, appealing can, the 30 day they can, detention. They can hold you for 30 days in Romania, I guess. Right. Like, so he appealed that and the judge denied that, uh, like 20 minutes where we got on this podcast. So, um, he will be remaining in, in, in Romanian prison jail whatever for 30 days I, I i was seeing some photos on this today i think it's funny that like when you see these photos of like him and his brother walking into the court like he his brother's got like nice clothes on he's smiling he's like fucking looks looks like kind of positive andrew tate's like in like a reebok hoodie you know and he like looks like fucking he hasn't shaven in days he looks depressed as shit it's like you can tell which one is sitting in a, in a Romanian jail. <laughs> right now, yes, like which one's actually worried about something coming to this. Yeah. I mean, like, the, like, the 30 day this, hold, that's to build the case, right? Like that's to pretty much get all your shit. Right, right. Present it. Right. And if so they, his, I guess if they can't present the case in 30 days, 
they release him. I, I, I assume is how that goes until they do build the case. So yeah, so this is him. They know it was an Under Armour hoodie. He's looking rough, dude. Yeah, so like it's it's always it's always like um Tristan who's like like you said wearing the suits and like the talking hair. formal, but he never really gets like any of the brunt of the attention, which is I think kind of like strange. Brilliant. I mean I'd rather I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean like... brilliant in his in his sense. I could definitely see like where you would say that, but like I just think it's kind of like Shouldn't the Tate brothers be more of the conversation rather than like Andrew Tate? And I don't know. I feel like well, I guess it would be Andrew Tate was more the ringleader, right? And like well, you have the, J- you like have the, the James face. gang. True, yeah, but they like always they're right. they're like always together and they're always hosting like like they're they always shot their content together. Oh, or like, except for all of his guest spots, I guess. So I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Fuck them. I mean, this will be interesting. I'm 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 excited to gonna get real juicy here soon i wonder if greta is gonna show up to court like it's just like just be how dare court. you she's like guest judge no. like, we got a guest we got a special guest judge yeah special guy the fucking lights and shit go off and like the undertaker music kicks on fucking greta thunberg comes walking out everybody's like oh fuck look at looking creepy as ever he just puts his hands up and just like cuff me he knows it's yeah, over fucking done She's got back. that small dick energy at getalife.com. <laughs> yeah, that small dick energy. Yeah, dude, she's got like a t-shirt on it, like a GoDaddy t-shirt. Uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, by the way, panel, Jerry uh, Buchenovich just put us up one nothing. I, I thought you were going to say, by the way, climate change is a hoax. Just wanted to get that. <laughs> <laughs> just before we no. got too into the show, just wanted to. No, Jack, just wait till you see why I asked for your, your address this morning. Uh, Oh shit! It should be good. <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay. Stuart knows. Yeah, uh, you gave me your you gave me your address. Uh, it'll be things will be arriving maybe in a couple separate things for like over the next. You probably won't get it before your birthday. Uh, you may get it for your birthday, but happy you birthday might all the same. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, yet it's not yet. It's not wish. It's not get ahead of ourselves. He's not thirty yet. Um, but I do got some things coming in the, in the mail for you. So I just, they're going to show up. I couldn't put it all in one thing for some retard. Like, uh, let's not drop the, the R word. Some dumb reason. Some I couldn't Greta put it reason. All in one. Some Greta reason. I couldn't send you all. So just expect some shit. Um, <laughs> all right. Kuchenov, I, I, Kuchenovich... I, feel, I, I, what? I feel like the same way of receiving a package from you as I would like Ted Kaczynski. So I'll yeah. definitely have De- my, my eyes out for it. Have your girl open it. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just make sure you're not make sure you're not in the same room when she opens yeah. the package. That's uh, great. Well, I'll keep an eye out for that. All right, cool. Yeah, I think you're gonna enjoy that. All right, so back to the uh earlier we t- I brought up the wrestling, we were talking about wrestling. Um, I and and so another all this shit's popping off today right before we get on here, which is good for us because it gives us stuff to talk about and we can be some of the Fresh. first people to chitty chat about it. Um, but like I said, last week we were talking about the Dana White incident. Um and him slapping his wife and, and that whole fiasco. Um, but in the mean, you know, but, but in the course of all that, the uh, Vince McMahon stuff came in because we covered that when that happened. And as, as everybody knows, Vince McMahon stepped down from paying off women and sexual harassment and all this other shit, you know, stuff that we all knew Vince has been doing for two decades, three decades. Uh, I mean, look at that creepy motherfucker. I just want to hug him. I mean, he's still dad, you know, he's still daddy. Um, he ain't no Mike but, Judy, but we like the guy. He ain't no Mike. He ain't no Mike Judy. Shout out Mike Judy. Uh, wherever you're at, if we're talking, we we were talking about we're talking about doing some interviews on this show, Mike Judy. If you're out there, we want holla you. At, holla at your boy. Holla at it. Maybe we can do our first live show at the Foo Bar, and then we'll not show up. <laughs> um, real punk rock shit. Um, uh, but so anyway, I called it. I said, look, I said this, I said at the end, by the end of 2023, Vince McMahon is going to be at the back, is, is back at the head of WWE being big daddy in, in the business, running the show. And uh, within 24 hours of us shooting, la- of us releasing last week's episode, it, it started to come to fruition. The news started coming in oh. um, that he, you know, th- that he was kind of starting to weasel his way in because he wanted to kind of see the sales and stuff like that. Which again, I didn't believe. I didn't believe he was just coming back for just the sale. Um, he, he's, he's gonna just. It's all, it's all gonna be one step at a time, and then he's just before we know it, he's going to be back in the WWE. <laughs> like that's just how this is gonna go. Think about it like a pump and dump. Then he's back. Stock goes up. Sell high. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for sure. sure. I mean, I, 
What are you gonna he's say? He's just he's just getting mad at Triple H. He's like, you took everything from me, my daughter, <laughs> my job, my company. What did you, did, I think I sent uh, Stuart that where it was like uh, like when you're Triple H or whatever, and and you thought you had it or whatever, and his phone, you know, it's like somebody like nah, not so fast. It's like <laughs> yeah, Vince McMahon's like, bro, you thought, but um, I had no idea. But but today, uh, a couple hours ago, uh, Stephanie McMahon steps down as CEO and as, as her in her as her position in the company, which makes and, sense. Yeah, yeah, as totally, a, as a totally woman, makes that makes sense. <laughs> put put the ladies to the side while the men well, come back come ta- back after their sexual geez. assault allegations. She had she had already stepped down from her role. She was backing away from the company, and then like in three weeks later, he's the the the, the Vince shit takes uh, goes down. She comes back to like fulfill the role temporarily. So if right, Vinny right. Max back, then she wants to go back she to goes doing away. what the hell she wanted to do initially. Right. She was a she was a fucking just a place marker. She was yeah. like, just chill out. Daddy will be back. I'm gonna go take care of this. Let the heat come off. Keep daddy's a seat bit. warm. Keep it warm. Just make sure McMahon is in the company running the show. And it can't be Shane because we've already seen what Shane was doing. Shane can't run a fucking can't run a mile. Were, let alone were any a goddamn... you guys upset when he quit originally that he didn't like think his death or do something cool like Vince McMahon style? Like it didn't like, work it, the first time. He yeah, should work. <laughs> well, he faked his death, and a week later, his ben premier Watt. wrestler killed somebody or killed his wife and family allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. But say, no, make sure I, you, I, make that, sure they should have definitely a story. That, I, I wonder how they're gonna if they are gonna work him into the storyline because from what I'm hearing, everybody's saying it's just like creative stuff. You know, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm def- I'm I'm eager to see it for sure, because right as soon as he got on here, the thing came across uh, that he is back as executive chairman with Nick Khan being the CEO. Um, and it says so that he, this is the what were you say? Well, he was co-CEO. So, yeah, he's right, right, right. I know. Dude, what if, the somebody hits, the... what if somebody hits him with a come out here, you rapist? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Well, it's, my, my favorite you... part about this is, is that it says the board of directors unanimously elect Vince McMahon as executive chairman. Like, I'm, surpri- like, I'm surprised they did. <laughs> like, no one gave a fuck. Like, everybody's like, yeah, dude, bring it's Vinny Mac, like, baby. Bring Vinny Mac. They're like, who cares? You know, like, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, big news. I mean, so uh, and apparently I haven't been watching. I have uh, admittedly kind of been very uh, not a, very unattached to wrestling the last like year or so. Um, but I've heard that it's kind of getting better. I've heard that uh, obviously Stuart and I were kind of keeping up with we would kind of message back and forth about the, you know, the Uso thing and, and Sami Zayn that I heard, you know, that's killing it. Him being an Uso. Um, and then I've heard, you know, the, the, now there's this new storyline with Dominic uh it, you know Ray Mysterio's son Dom who I've always thought was kind of cheesy but now he's with Rhea Ripley and he got arrested going to there was a segment where he got arrested he was like showing up to Ray Mysterio's house and like beating his Beat ass and his shit out of him on Christmas morning. Well he gets arrested and now he's prison Dom. So he comes out in like a fucking like a cholo like he comes out like a Mexican he's got the la- gang got Latino heat huh yeah Is that like it's saying? so funny so there's like a little edge back you know, well, yeah, because every single when when a when a character comes into WWE and they push him hard, and they always make the mistake of pushing him babyface. You know, you look at Kurt Ang- or uh, Kurt Angle came in and he was Olympic champion, so they pushed him babyface, and people fucking hated it. And then fucking The Rock came in, he was Rocky Maivia, and they pushed him as a babyface, third generation wrestler. People hated him. Die Rocky, die. Uh, John Cena, the ruthless aggression John Cena before he was the master of thug, uh, thugonomics motherfucker. Word life. <laughs> pushed him pushed him as a baby face. People fucking hated him. You have to go heel to get over. And so yeah. now Dominic's Roman finally going do heel, get over. getting over. And then they'll then you wait for the crowd to naturally turn a baby face. Well, so yeah, and and to your point, Jack, Roman Reigns kind of is getting over. It's it's because he whole, went heel. He went heel, and this whole you didn't get Uso, over me. Yeah, well, me neither. I'm not a big. I'm not a Roman guy either. But I'm he's Zane part of the. Guy. He's a yeah. He's a big USO guy. Yeah, he's in that USO thing. Like he's kind of in the. Yeah. Uh, or is he? Is that leader. what he went? Yeah, he's the leader. So it's yeah. like. It, it, so it, it all just kind of works and it's perfect because you got Sami Zayn who can be like the mouthpiece who can be like the, the, the guy in the mic 
And then Roman can be like the big bad motherfucker, like in the group that, you know, who he is, you know, he's the leader. And, but Sami Zayn is this might, and, and you see some like legends and you see like, you'll see, I think Jericho's even shouted out. Like you'll see people like really coming out, like from all angles, like giving them props for this. Like, this is a really good storyline. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's such a good formula. They, they, I don't know why they forget the formula. You, you let the heel guy kind of have a stable around him, and he can do like the chicken shit heel where when he's about to get beat, his boys come in and take care of it. It was like, you know, when Triple H had evolution, if he was about to lose the title, Ric Flair, Batista, all of them come in, save his ass. And so, and then he cuts a promo the next night on Raw saying, I'm the fucking best. But then you have Paul Heyman speaking for you. And then you have Sami Zayn as there as like the comic, comic uh, relief. And then you have two proven products with the Usas. And then I forgot the other gentleman. He's like the, the bruiser. But the, it's a great formula that they got right now. I don't know how and, long they're going to Vince they're McMahon is it. just ripe to ruin it. He just can't wait to get his hands on it. He, he's just going to, he's like, fuck this. He's like, Roman Brock, 10. They never were let... Bill Goldberg. I need a champion. <laughs> well, guys like Vince and like, what's his name? Bruce Pritchard. They never let things like naturally just run its course. They get, they like they shoot the load too early, so I wouldn't be surprised if like the Sami Zayn shit it comes to an end soon, because they could let this go for a year. Ever, ever. I mean, this could be evolution, like you said. This could be something where like it could be yeah. a couple years of like, and then obviously you'll get the the one of the three or four guys gets sick of being the fucking. You know, I mean, we we've seen this, you know, but it but it works. And like, Sami Zayn gets tired of being the the guy that doesn't get the respect or the Usos or, or you know whatever. Sami Zayn accidentally wins the Royal Rumble and then has to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And like Roman Reigns is like intimidated by Sami Zayn now because what if the motherfucker actually gets it and fucks me? And then the goons beat up, and then you turn, and then Sami Zayn goes babyface because he's getting attacked by the fucking tribe. Dude, imagine it, if Sami it writes Zayn, itself. Imagine if Sami Zayn beats two years from now. Three years from now, Sami Zayn beats Roman Reigns at a fucking. Sami Zayn is world champion. Sami Zayn would be a good world. WrestleMania, dude. That'd be sick. I love Sami Zayn. Back, I mean, even back when he was coming into like ska songs and shit, skanking down the fucking uh, ramp. That's my boy. What was the guy he used to wrestle with? Who was his partner? Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, but who was the other ska guy? Wasn't there oh, another Neville? Neville who's who's talk on uh, AEW now? Okay, I I still need. I have never ever gotten into AEW, but I've also it's heard that that's it's, it's it's yeah I've heard that's got pretty fucking bad. Um, it's really bad. You say that, but they don't have Logan Paul on their roster, so it's true. And Logan in hey, WWE hey, has hey, made hey. him win at WrestleMania. So look, or, if there is anything that Logan Paul didn't scam anybody on, it's his fucking wrestling skills. That boy can wrestle. That he guy is, win, he has a better WrestleMania win percentage than the Undertaker. He, Who did he beat? The Miz. The mid, I don't, you hear damn right. He's what is he, two and oh, right? He's one, he's two he's and one. one is he one and oh, two? Yeah, yeah, maybe he's one or no. Who do you, yeah, was it? I think, I think he, I think he beat the uh, I think he beat the Guerreros, um, who? in a tag match. And I think SummerSlam because he beat Miz at SummerSlam. I think that was SummerSlam. I might be mixing my dates up. Who beat yeah, the so Guerreros? Well, Push forward. Well, okay, well, so who, who, did, so Logan Paul beat the Miz at. When at the WrestleMania at summer yeah. at SummerSlam at SummerSlam wasn't it? I thought he beat the Guerreros. There was a there was a pay per view and he beat the Miz. Yeah, at some point we're gonna figure it out, people. We promise, Logan Paul. <laughs> Jeez, I said move on, please. <laughs> okay. well, well, no, I don't want to be. I don't want to be wrong. Oh no, well, <laughs> oh, no, you're right. God. It's um, the Mysterios. This one was the Mysterios versus Logan Paul and the Miz. Logan Paul and the Miz. Oh, so yeah, so that was, yeah, there it is. Logan Paul and the Miz versus the Mysterious. Vindicated. Yeah. So, but anyway, but so, but Logan Paul is a hell of a wrestler. I mean, that's one thing you will, we are, I, I am not going to give, I'm not going to shit on that guy at all for that. That guy is a, him and Bad Bunny have been, we're just like two of the best celebrity wrestlers we've seen come into Pat this McAfee. business. Pat McAfee killed it. Yeah. I mean, they've been doing have good been, at booking celebrities to wrestle. They've who actually out. went to who yeah who actually are but they're and they're finding people who are interested like i think they're they've kind of moved away from just going and find the biggest guy in hollywood or like the biggest boxer or like just the biggest name they can they're going to dennis find rodman, guys are, get in there <laughs> yeah dennis rodman you know fucking floyd Mike mayweather go punch the big show yeah floyd mayweather they're more like let's go find somebody that actually loves wrestling 
knows yeah. wrestling and is willing to like, you know, just sign, you know, do that type of shit. And, and, and they've, they've gotten it right. Cause Pat McAfee is also, cause does he still do play? Does he still, is he commentary? He's still, still? He's still on commentary for SmackDown. Okay. Cause I mean that does anyone work more than Pat McAfee? I mean, Jesus Christ. He, he does is college like game day. He is motherfucker in show business. Uh, his own show every day of the week. I'm pretty sure. Every like week two, it's fucking nuts. Um, yeah, we're trying, shows was, too. Was, we're trying to be just like doing that the guy. National championship game last night. Just did the yeah. national championship. Did you see him call that guy's mustache out? Or he yeah. thanked him for his service. <laughs> and <when> he, <laughs> like, hey, immaculate mustache. He goes, thank you for your service. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he, Matt, Matt, AJ Hawk's like, what are you, a retired firefighter? And before he could even get those words out, it's nice. He's like, dude, thank you for your service. <laughs> shout shout out to the show. We're huge fans. Yeah, shout out Pat McAfee. We can, we, it's, we, we want to be you, but better. But yeah, fuck dude. Um, yeah, and fuck the Colts. I think he still he actually lives in Indy. Yeah, yeah, that's where uh, he, that's where his studio is. That's Gross. wild. That Gross. that his studio has got to be the nicest complex in Indy. It's a church. Yeah, it's like they it's like they're shooting he, out like a high school gym. It looks like. No, it. He bought a, a it was a, a, a mega church that closed down off the highway in Indy. And it's been sitting there empty for years. And he used to drive by it like every day, go into his little studio downtown in Indy. And he was like, I that could be like his like fantasy factory where like all of his ideas can be contained within this giant complex. So he he bought a closed down mega church and now everything's within that. Do you ever watch like the guys That's from so like Dude Perfect? Yeah. And you're like, I fucking hate every single one of these guys in Dude Perfect. How do they get to have an like have you ever seen their place? It's insane. Yeah. Their their studio is like has a go-kart track, like fucking balls pit you can jump in, like basketball courts everywhere and all this shit. And I'm like, I hate these motherfuckers. I'm just <laughs> like, I, 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 like, I, I would do I would literally I I would do almost anything to trade lives with beardo and the fucking stupid twins or whoever the fuck their names are i hate them out of jealousy but they're actually really nice dudes i've, I've ran into them a couple times at work because they're, they're really tight with my employer what that's insane yeah they're at a, like they were at my christmas party a couple years ago oh nice yeah do they do, actually, trick shot, do they do trick shots for everybody no. they did trick film a video they, they filmed a video dude they, you didn't like crumble up a ball of paper and like point to the trash can be like do it just, just do it, well, dude. That's where they got their stuff. They're, they're, they're all uber religious because they all started off as like camp counselors at a Christian like sports camp. So they're all like jock dudes, but they're hardcore Christian dudes, and that's their thing. Which they're is why jocking for Jesus. Like, they're jocking like for Jesus, <laughs> dude. Trick shots for Jesus. That's right. That's fucking. That's the shit. I've watched do per. I haven't even thought of do perfect. Don't they have a fucking? Isn't that who does Thursday night football? The the side thing. Or is That'd that the show? There's a dude know. perfect, uh, like Manning cast. I'm pretty sure. I know. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, what the hell do they do while, during the? Dude, I know they, they did the Nickelodeon NFL thing. Perfect. That's yeah, that might be it. Because uh, they had a dude show on Nickelodeon. NFL. Thursday Night Football with Dude Perfect. So here's best of Thursday Night Football with Dude Perfect. You can watch them on YouTube. So that so they must have been part of Thursday. But, but then, don't watch it on YouTube. But don't watch it. Yeah, watch us on YouTube. <laughs> watch Pop Culture Rehab on YouTube. Um, now in please. 1080p. You're welcome. Now in 1080p. Yeah, we're fucking, we're cranking. We're in house, baby. I'm we always cranking. For this That's year. why you guys can't see below my waist. <laughs> yeah, dude. Jack actually can't stand up during our shows. I just we could edge post the them. entire time. Jack, Jack will show you his 720p. Yeah, dude. It's Jack. Jack's the hardest worker of us all. I mean, he. The fact that he doesn't sweat on camera is insane. I mean, it's. One of the more impressive stats that, so, that you it's don't the even kind know of self discipline about. you can only learn from a mentor like Andrew Tate. Well, it's one of those you're like an O lineman, like it's like work that doesn't get appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Like no one <laughs> understands that. Like you're, I appreciate it. I, I do. Jack, after you're, you're the sounding show, like you're sounding like TJ Watt Jack after the show. Literally, there we go. Hey, he there's our collapses. played out ass. There's our. You're damn watching, right, dude. There's our Kamaro Usman. Our played out fucking Kamaro Usman. You guys thought I'd forgotten to put it up once in a while, no, but here I was it is just again. Hoping. I was just, we were just hoping. hoping. We were Never. Just hoping. Guys, I promise you, listeners, watchers, guys, any get chance new... I get, I'm going to work gotta, this in. I promise. We got to get a new front office, guys. <laughs> it's over. Oh, yeah. You want, let's go there now. Let's go there now. Yeah, talk about at, it. Look how uh, proud this piece of shit is. Talk about it. Talk about it. Everyone else. Yourself? 
He mean Damn himself. right. He That's me. I, I mean my yeah. It's so sad. Not even I drained it in case you're wondering. That even, even have that even have his face. <laughs> that even have his face on the show. I, this I drained it. it. <laughs> I don't even understand it. Fucking splash. <laughs> you, you, it's all right, Jack. We'll explain it to you after the show. <laughs> the, 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 the texts aren't even thing. on the right things you're trying to acknowledge. It's, it's, it's an like, urban thing. It's like on the fucking paint. It's, just like, it's like on the wood. Thing. It's like, yeah, it's like on the play. Look, what do you mean? Look, sons of bitches. How do you fit that in there? It's an office in the middle of like the mezzanine section. Like, what the fuck is that even supposed to mean? Where was I supposed to go with it, though? Like, I was going to put, put an arrow, maybe? Or something. Or they call this basketball. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you think I don't get it? I meant like it's stupid. Like, I know, you know, I know. I just the, the urban flair, <laughs> just the blockers. <laughs> I, I think those are two different plots. Like I, I think you like you so... times New Roman on one and like Ariel or Courier. Oh shit, dude! <laughs> it's so good. All right, so moving on though. So we're gonna to end out the show. We're not gonna get to this yet because I do. We want I want to get to one thing before oh. we get to closing out the show. But to, to close out the show today, you guys are gonna get. We're gonna break down some play NFL playoffs for you guys. Go over this yeah. weekend's kind of you know these matchups and, and give our our predict. We're not gonna go and predict our Super Bowl yet. Maybe we can give a Super Bowl prediction today. But like we're not gonna break down each fucking round and who we think. We're, we'll wait till the matchups happen and then like are, are set and then we'll give you our predictions on those. Because is yeah, but I mean like we're not gonna go like today like go okay first round second round third you know yeah, let's no. just hell no. is anyone super bowl prediction now defunct no uh, mine's not oh everyone's everyone's still in play right oh from the beginning of the year i don't from the know beginning of the year yeah i, don't I actually remember. don't know I, well, actually, we I'll, should I'll go look tapes i was bill bucks so I'll, we're, we will look into that. That is okay. something that I will do. We will go back to uh, and by the next sometime we will post on our so, social some clips because we, we did that this past week where Stuart was right about the Jags. Jags went ended up winning nine nine games this year, which is nuts. Uh, like I said, but before we get to any of that, let's not get too hard ahead of ourselves because the way we, we all have fucking ADD here and we'll just jump right into this. But Phil Baroni, if anybody doesn't know who Phil Baroni is, he is an MMA vet, used to be in the UFC. He may have been on uh the all the fighter. steroids but yeah no <laughs> shit on every this guy, really, under the yeah. sun Th- this on, guy on. was like old school mma like but back when like, there when were MMA, no fucking rules this is like spike tv mma you know what i'm saying yeah. uh he was the first and, guy to add like personality to his shit like he would come out with like a bunch of women around him and like he had like a very wwe type entrance like in compared like he came out in that boxer robe and shit and yeah like, yeah yeah dude he, he always was on he, cage he, rage yeah, yeah, age range. Were, yes, he was. Yeah, crap. He Icon would do like a bunch. Of, he would, like did a bunch of extra shit. I, I, didn't he even actually end up doing pro wrestling for a bit? Too? He did. He pro was wrestling training too, currently yeah. to be a pro yeah. wrestler. Yeah. He went like to Japan. Yeah. So uh, poor old Phil, who has also had his old his you know run ins with the law and stuff like that. He's kind of like a Mayhem Miller. You know, just one of those guys who just has never, he's always just kind of been fucking crazy. Uh, Do you remember two years ago when he was like tweeting out in the middle of New Mexico saying that he like got kicked out of his gym and he was like abandoned? He was like asking his fans just to book him a flight anywhere, like a one way ticket. You would take it. <laughs> How about Phil? <laughs> Yeah, about, exactly. yeah, dude, it's yeah. so funny. He's yeah, like, dude, I don't he was like, he's like in Albuquerque. He's like stuck at an airport <laughs> after he got kicked out of a gym for like fighting all the dudes, and they were like, and he's like, I will go anywhere. Somebody, please buy me a ticket. My wife's divorced me. Like, I can't. Like, he's like, my wife's in ruins. I just want to fight. And like, yeah. And this wife, and the wife that he just mentioned, plays a big part in what we're going to talk about right now, and that is old Phil Baroni found self in Mexico. And along, I think this is a different lady just to be consistent. Okay. Maybe it is a different lady. This is a girlfriend. Um, so he does have an ex-wife, but this is a girlfriend there in Mexico. Uh, the girl, I guess they were doing, they were getting fucked up and the girlfriend thought it was a good idea to tell him that she was cheating on him or something along those lines. Uh, and Phil Brown lost it. Apparently he, uh, they, all I know is, is that when he called the police saying that his girlfriend admitted to cheating and he, tossed her in the shower to take a shower and then came back and now she's not moved. But basically, you know, he killed her. I mean, he beat her to death. Uh, and now are apparently allegedly, he says he threw her in the shower. She hit her head, went to, went to sleep. He went out to go get some drinks, bring them back to the hood. When he came back, that's when she was bludgeoned to death. I like right. to imagine that he found out she was cheating. Like he was like, 
going down. And he's like, this smells like dick. <laughs> Go take a shot. Go take a shower. This is disgusting. 37 yeah. injuries. This, yeah. This... yeah, that's fucked up. Now, remember that this dude's best friend was fucking War Machine. War, yeah, who, who? He visited War Machine in prison like multiple fucking times. That's his boy. Yeah, and, and yeah, so, Steph and Bonner were boys back too. Yeah, War Machine's an absolute psycho. Uh, but I do think don't think Christine Mackles is an innocent and all that is she claims. But we're not gonna go there. Uh, but yeah, War Machine okay. is fucking no nuts. one's no you, one's worth. Wait, you mean you mean the lady of the night that you met? Didn't you meet her? No, I met uh, Bonnie. Bonnie Rotten. Oh. And Bonnie Rotten doesn't like <laughs> I Christy I Mack. Those two big- Bonnie Rotten doesn't like Christy Mack either. She actually was part of the, I think she was a pro war machine or, or something because they were like in a beef. And when I met Bonnie Rotten, I was like, fuck Christy Mack. And she was like, fuck Christy Mack. It was like, <laughs> it was like a mo- We had like a moment for real. Um, oh, but uh, yeah, so so we have War Machine, who is a psycho, um, who is also, I think, on The Ultimate Fighter. Um, who, yeah, but he's doing life in prison for attempted murder, fucking kidnapping. I mean, chance just whatever. of parole when he's 72. Yeah, chance he, of parole when so he's 72. He, he's in jail down in Mexico, and I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the news down in Mexico, but um, that that's a crazy place to be right now. <laughs> it's funny. Dude, it is popping off down there. Yeah, right Guzman's now. son just got arrested, and 29 people were killed in the bloodbath afterwards. And yeah, it shut down airports. I mean. Not good. Dude, the I la- think so Phil the, la- Barone, the last though, time is... the the last time they kidnapped the Guzman kid, he fought. The, he made there was so much chaos that happened that the they government go. had to give him back to the yeah. cartel. <laughs> like... Yeah, dude, it's it's like they need to just stop going after. They need to just let it let this guy go because <laughs> like every time it's a fucking shit show. But I think that Phil Baroni is probably the he's the kind of guy who like holds his own in a Mexican prison and like eventually gains everyone's respect. Cause he like just beats the like 10 of them to death. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like absolutely. Phil, Bar- no one is fucking with Phil Baroni in prison. Fuck no. Like, He's especially with this guy. Mexican prison. War machine is also a piece of shit. War machine is another guy that you're not fucking with. War machine was not a great MMA fighter though. So neither was fucking Bar- Baroni to be honest. Yeah. But it. Phil Baroni is still, in Brody really was fighting shape. like top. He was, he was fighting off. top guys when he was in the UFC too. Like at that time, he was, what, what was uh, Keelman or whatever was one of the guys he was fighting. That guy was like a world champion. He went toe to toe with Shamrock, like prime Shamrock. Yeah, yeah. so I, I think he was pretty pretty decent fighter. Phil Maroney, Linlin, yeah, but Linlin yeah, was but... one of the one of those guys who was a good fight against him. But uh, what was the other guy? Is this his record? What is this? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is uh, Brony's. Oh, record. So is that Evan Tanner? Uh, two, two. Yeah, Evan Tanner, so. Matt Linlin, um, Phil Brony, Matt Linlin, Matt Stout is this yep. guy at the bottom. Yeah. Um, yeah. Evan Tanner twice. Matt Linlin twice. Many, many main, 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 main. Uh, I can't remember that guy's first name, but um, yeah, Mike Stout. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's he was always kind of like just a middle of the road guy, so, but, he, but he has so, fought legends. So, so he killed, he killed his girlfriend, and did, was it also her son too? He killed, he killed like a little kid too. Or did, oh, I didn't see, that, I, I didn't, I know didn't about hear that. about that. Yeah, I, I, I heard he just killed the girl. I heard there was like a kid there. Maybe he didn't kill the kid, but she had her kid with him or something. Maybe. I'm oh, that's wrong. fucked up. Yeah, that was not recorded. I can say that. <clears throat> okay, yeah, maybe, sure. I, maybe, maybe I'm mistaking one of his other assault charges yeah because yeah, sure, like, this is one of those guys who's got a long a long i rash. think he <laughs> has a kid with his first wife yeah, yeah. i don't I think, think anyone is surprised by this that might yeah, be further back pretty... on his rap sheet damn phil but yeah well hopefully they get this figured out and he's guilty i mean i guess he's gonna spend a lot of time in mexican prison and that's he needs to brush up on a spanish he needs to brush up on spanish because yeah it's gonna be a long i mean I, I don't know maybe mexico's one of those places where like a life sentence is like 15 years 20 years and he's out and 50, you know they don't give a fuck down in some of these places some of these places like real like they think that's why these people commit the these years work like, like pesos it's like 14 years in mexico is one year in america <laughs> there's so many places in the world like i think switzerland like there's so many places that like their life we're like one of the only com- countries in the world that have like natural life sentences yeah because like, most other prison systems are not made to 
yeah, it, yeah it makes you feel like shit. <laughs> yeah, they're, it's, they're it's, there to like rehabilitate people. Yeah, they actually have a they actually bank on releasing these people back into yeah, public. Like, and then you want an education and come out a better person? How do they, they come here? License, like, how do they make license plates in Sweden? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if they drive in Sweden. Yeah. They just here, they just here they're around. like, bro, we'll give you a GED and let you go to church. He's like, but anything more than that, he's like, you better get on TikTok and learn learn how to make a fucking breakfast burrito because because I'm we, subscribing because we're subscribed. I subscribe to everything you sent. <laughs> the la- two things you sent me today, I subscribed to the that the guy whipping up fucking uh that the guy who's a five star chef in prison and then I the other guy that's doing fucking that reviews who's, who's reva- in- re- reviewing strip club lunch places. Yeah. Can can, can uh, I ask you guys a question? How how does it make you feel that a guy who's only allowed probably like a Samsung shitty phone from 2008 like he's only allowed to use it for 15 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day and he's pulling in way more views on TikTok than we are. Dude, Dude. Because the content's so fucking good, it's so you can't good. compete with that. Yeah, that's who we yeah. need to interview. I don't feel bad because it's so good. We need to get one of them dudes on the show, like a real, like a live cooking. Like that could be a segment, dude. I will. I We're will in with like a prisoner. They're like Johnson. Who are you talking to? He's like, fuck. Because he, that guy that I sent you, he was live on TikTok last night with like a balaclava on to hide his face. I'll see if we could do a Facetime. Do you know how fucking them. sick that would be if we got him a to dude cook in prison? Something? Like any, we had like a ten minute segment where he just whipped up something sick, or like a twenty minute yeah. segment where he whipped up something quick. Yes, yes. I'll hit him up. Make that happen. Like, See, look just, at this. We're I'll doing put twenty dollars in your commissary, sir. If you let us, do we will this, put sir. money on the books. We'll I'll pay. Put, for, yes, tell we him will we will pay on. for the. We will pay for the fucking food he cooks with. Dude, yeah. You want fucking? Yeah. You want some soups? Fucking we will, chili ramen. We, we will the pay for the, not. Yeah, not only will we pay for the food that you cook with in our segment, we will. We will all put twenty bucks on your phone. We will. We'll hook you up, dude. We'll make it happen. Maybe so, he'll make us a uh, fucking papusa. I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can we? Yeah. So we're gonna need. We're gonna have to do two segments. One where we cook, and the other one where you just explain, Jack. Uh, you just explain what, the, 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 what you, what the utensils you're using and, and, the, and the things you're using to cook the, the <laughs> Dude, dinner, speaking right? of that I just got this brand new steel pan guys if you don't have a steel pan add it to the repertoire let me tell you what I'm just saying I'd ask yeah. you to show it to us but <laughs> he's anonymous <laughs> uh, I do, like I do advertising steel pans silly guy. I do copper yeah, bitch dude. Copper all the way, dude. Copper's nice too. I do yeah. campfire. I just do campfire. <laughs> you just cooked over a fire. I yeah. put it over. I just, slab just meat spit. on my radiator. <laughs> <laughs> especially here, especially here in Wuhan, you really want dude, to leave I, it on the radiator for a really long time, or else you're gonna put up. I just put on my shit. windshield defrosters and slap a steak on there. Last night I slapped two later. bats on the fucking radiator and just fucking ate that. <laughs> just a little, up a a little chicken broth over it and fucking hit him, dude, hit him over the head baby. with a stick. Mm. <laughs> Chef's kiss. All right. So before, so we're we're coming we're coming up about an hour here. So uh, we're one of the things we're going to try to do in the year 2023 is we're going to try to give you non two hour show, hour and 35 minute shows. If sometimes you're going to get them, but like we need to if we can like stick between like an hour hour and 15 that'd be beautiful but sometimes it's not going to happen uh but today to open up close out the show we want to talk about uh the well before we do that donovan mitchell goes back to utah tonight against tuesday Damn the right. 10th so go Cavs. uh let's go hope to god that goes well that go, goes well we'll see hope don mitchell drops another 70 piece but we'll see um but anyway back to football um the nfl playoffs are here i am wearing my philadelphia <clears throat> eagles shirt because we have finally uh, the, you know, that's my other second team and they clinched the one seat to give them the bye because the boys. they, they made it happen this week. But not only that, the Cowboys lost to a fucking third string quarterback and Ooh, baby, that makes me feel good. Uh, hope we get to see them next round. I'm actually rooting for Dallas in this first round, which is going to hurt oh. me, but I, I want them to play. I want them in Philly to play. Um, just to shut so them we're going to just to shut them up. So we're going to, we're going to go through these, um, just the first round matchups every week after the, these kind of conclude and we, we get the next week set, we will come back on here and, um, and we'll, you know, we will t- break those down and talk those. So we're not going to go through every single one. Um, and then we will, we're going to go, but we talked about it a few minutes ago. We're going to go back and, and try to figure out what our original Super Bowl picks were. Cause there was a lot, it was a long time ago. We've done a lot of shit since then. Um, 
But so where where do we want to start? To I guess let's start. Let's just start with Dallas and, and the Bucks. Let's start with the I NFC. I just say every single uh, matchup is a banger. By the way, they're all good. They're all good. Oh, I every one my, of these are like must watch. Giants Vikings my, is probably my least favorite, but that's and that's my, still going to be good. My prediction at the beginning of the year was Bills Vikings, and it was both streaks on the line. And I think I said the Bills. So okay, I can't. That's why. That's what I remember. remember. So I can't remember who I said. So we're starting Cowboys Bucks, right? You said. I might have said Bills Niners. I think I might have said Niners or I don't know. I really don't no, know. I mean, I, I, I can't remember. This. Oh, yeah. Okay. So to start this, we're going uh, Dallas Bucks. So I think if anybody has any knowledge of history, you have to say, okay, Tom Brady in the playoffs. I mean, come on. I mean, I, I know you guys think the Cowboys are, you know, going to easily win this. Maybe I, maybe you don't think that. I'm not sure. But no. I just th- I just think it's a different element. You know, the Bucks get the home game because they're the technically the division winner. And I don't know. I just it's hard for me to see Tom Brady going out in the first round. It'd be one of the first times that or if the first time that's ever happened. So Zach looks like shit. Yeah. The yeah, Cowboys did you. not impress me when they played the, the Titans who were literally had half their starting lineup out. And, and, the well, they, and, they, and yeah. And who they and just lose them good. Was it Washington? Yeah, they just lost to Washington. The third string, Sam Howell. Yeah, Sam Howell beat him. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I 100. Ex- like, I almost expect the Bucks to win this game, but I, you know, I just as an Eagles fan, I would love, and and it probably every time I ever hope for something like this, it ends up biting me in the ass. So I'm sure they'll end up blowing the buck or just skating by the Bucks and then blowing the fucking Eagles out or something and just killing me. But um, I want to play the Cowboys just for the the Micah Parsons, my boy. I want, I want, I just want to see the comments. And you know, Jalen wasn't there for this last matchup so it's it's time it's time to get some some respect there but i'm with you and i think that's why it's so big uh about um uh, what's his face losing the other night aaron Rodgers losing to um the, the lions i think detroit because you know obviously he's not a, a championship winner and we know it's kind of his thing he chokes and he never makes it but he's another one of those guys that you let him in the playoffs you just never fucking know you know and um so i'm with you i so i, I if i had to pick i think i i'm gonna say i think I, the bucks win this game our front office are unanimous on bucks no i'm taking boys Whoa, i'm taking no the shit. boys yeah 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 dude uh, absolutely i think that the dallas defense you. is uh is pretty good tom brady did figure it out last week but um i i am unsure if he's gonna be able to sustain that and i really hope that the the boys and eagles matchup happens so i'm gonna try to push that into reality okay are you can you keep track of these for me or for uh, us yeah 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 of course and then we can just send them to me and we'll figure that out huh. after this okay so so uh, so uh, me i'm bucks Stu's bucks yep. jack's bucks yep front yep. office is the now boys boys okay right. so do we want to do want to stay in the nfc yeah, let's just wanna, move on okay up. okay so next we'll go to jack's nfc pick which is the vikings playing the unexpected new york giant brian dable I and mean, what are they won like what eight nine games this year i think <laughs> yeah Jesus Christ. Minnesota is the team, and they've been like this for a couple of years, but they can beat anybody and they can be beat by anybody. Literally you don't know what anybody. you're you don't know what you're gonna get out they of can them. Beat themselves. Could, can they come out flat footed and play like they did in that indie game where they were down 33 points, you know, at half or whatever? But they can also make quick work of this of this Giants team if they don't come out playing. So I, I don't know. What what, what are you leaning, Nick? Uh, so for me, I'm, my heart tells me, and my, even my, I mean, my whole body tells me to go with Minnesota, but I, dude, the giants are, it's Minnesota said, in the playoffs, right? Minnesota in the playoffs and New York is playing. So Brian Dable has got them playing so hard. And I mean, this past week we had a Kenny Galladay sighting boys. Yeah, dude. I thank you for bringing that up. Kenny Galladay caught a fucking pat, a touch. I think it was a touchdown. A touchdown. It was a touchdown. Yeah. I mean, the. Jesus. So, you know, if we're, if, if you're telling me that fucking Kenny G is, is catching touchdown passes, you know, I don't know. I, this is the one I'm going to go upset here. I'm going to go giants. Hmm. I'm going go to go. I'm, I'm sticking, you know, Vikings beat the giants on Christmas Eve. So I think the trend will continue. I think it'll be a close game. Like it was on new year's Eve or Christmas Eve, been reported, but I think the Vikings will get it done against that giants defense. I don't think the Vikings totally collapse before uh, they get to the divisional. I think that's something that they're gonna they're gonna save savor this upset. Yes, 
eventually eventually they're gonna lose before they get to the super bowl but i don't know maybe they'll make it to the super bowl doubt it very much doubt it. it's the vikings but yeah let's go with i'll go with vikings nick goes with giants Stu goes with vikings yeah and and i'm gonna i'm gonna for, take the giants off this- i'm taking the giants is, I, think, I think nick's I like right uh, D- dabble uh, uh the devil is doing a fantastic job as head coach right now they're playing well they they're bought in danny dimes is out here not only passing but running with his legs saquon's a threat um i i know that the vikings have a good passing attack but dalvin's been Talk struggling a little me. bit Talk He's been struggling me. a little bit, and I just, I think that, uh, I think they need to blow it up over there in Minnesota, and I think the Giants hand them the way to do so. Is That's wait, I'm, is this Dable's first year? Yes, yes. He's so we got year, so so he's first year and Kevin O'Donnell, so two first year head coaches that have turned their team yep. into wow. Uh, this yeah. is going to be a good one, but yeah, I still yeah Vikings. I think they'll they'll take care of. Them. Let's go, Great baby. Matchup. This should be good. I'm so, excited for this. So the next matchup we got is the San Francisco 49ers at home facing that and that's San Francisco with new legendary never lost a game quarterback Brock Purdy taking on another Hall of Famer in his own right Geno Smith <laughs> in a game that will definitely go down in the annals of the NFL as the greatest <laughs> game of all time probably. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, basically, forget every other game. We're we're gonna break down all these games in the first round, but you only really need to watch one, and that's Brock Purdy versus Geno. Who's Geno's playing game. the Eagles? That's that's what we're deciding here. Yeah, who's playing the Eagles? You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's that's basically what we're figuring <laughs> out. So, but and, uh, and unfortunately, you go ahead, Jack. I'm gonna hear you first. You go first on this one. I I for some reason or another, I maybe call it the the nerves of playing in your first playoff game in front of everybody and. You know, having that undefeated record, behind, you know, I think I think the Seahawks are ripe for an upset here. Okay, Ooh. there we okay. go. I like that. Go off, I think, dude. I I think Geno Smith in a game in which he has to throw a lot could work in his favor, and I think he this is a game that he's. I mean, he's one of the more accurate quarterbacks in the NFL. I think walk. I think Walker is a good running back. I think that they've been playing pretty decent. And I think they've lost both their games to the 49ers, I'm pretty sure, this year. But it's hard to beat any, t- any team three times in the same season. So, um, like I said, I think, you know, you got Pete Pete Carroll versus Shanahan. It's a good coaching matchup. Um, but I don't know. I like the, I like the Seahawks in an upset. So I, heard Gene, Gino, I read that Gino hit all his incentives in his contract this year. All three and a half million dollars. He had to score injury. like three Congrats, touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. His incentives, his incentives were so low. Like, yeah, just show up. <laughs> yes, Dude, he's, but, like, uh, walk, he's like, say hi he's to like, Drew Lock every morning when you come in. He, he hold the door for Drew. <laughs> hold the door. <laughs> he keeps like finding like $250,000 around the stadiums because he's like, unknowingly hitting contract incentives just be like show up to practice you just tripped over it whoa you're like gino i think something's there there's something in your locker there's two checks in there there's two checks in there go go jess got the hawks who's up next Uh, i'll go go. next i'll just say uh you know i like the seahawks i like gino obviously you know they've, they've been fun to watch this year but uh i i think that offense uh lacks the firepower that the Niners do. I think it's I think the Niners have it pretty handedly. They've beat them both. They they the Niners have won both matchups against the Seahawks this year and won handedly both times. And I think that trend will continue. Yeah, I agree. I uh, look dude, Gino's my guy. Yeah. Uh, I am going to be rooting for Gino 100%. Like I am rooting for the Seahawks here. The disrespect I can't. I, dude, it hurts me to even say it. But here's my thing: if it's the defense that is honestly the difference here for me, I think yeah, I got love for Gino. I got love for Lockett, but dude, did you see how Ryan. he shut down Baker last week, dude? He's gonna do the same thing. Cool. For, for, yeah, they're, they're, I, it's the same thing. I, dude. I just think that D'Amico Ryan's has got that fucking team playing that defense playing so well. D'Amico Ryan's better be a head coach in, in the NFL next year, or there's actually a problem. Um, but. I think they're gonna fucking roll, and I think I think <laughs> Kittle's yeah. gonna have. I think Kittle's gonna have a big game. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think Brock Purdy and the Kittle connection is just disgusting. Um, I think that you're gonna get Joey Bosa is gonna be rolling. I think that defense is gonna be rolling, and I th- I think I think this has the chance to be the ugliest game 
this is either going to be the lowest scoring game of the first round, or this is going to like this. This has the chance of being like or, a nine six game, or this is going to be a blowout. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, so I, I, I got the Niners there. too. I'm, I'm with you. The, the 49ers, I just they're just too good on defense. Um, Gino's been struggling recently. That, that's just the fact of it. Um, yeah. Might Peter denied right Jesus back. three times. Just gonna, leave, just gonna leave that there. Two <laughs> two people have denied Gino so far. Wait, wait, Stu did too. Three, yeah, yeah. All that's three. three. Yeah, that's him. three. This is the second God. all three. Disgusting. Over the AFC time. Absolutely disgusting, two. dude. Disgusting. Don't yeah. even want to look at you guys. It hurts because I don't like rooting for the. Yeah, 49ers. Jack's gonna Jack's gonna do the rest of this segment with his back turned. He's disgusted. <laughs> I was uh, disgusted when the they, when I found out the team streets. was from San Francisco, and then. This is just icing on the cake. <laughs> this is just it. You find out that their fucking stadium is named after a fucking candle, and you're like, dude, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get that. Um, but all right, so that was the NFC. So we're done with the NFC. So moving on to the AFC. Uh, let's start at the bottom. Yes, just because they're the team of the hour uh, for the oh. show. They're, I guess they're the pop culture show. We're riding them. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars, Dougie P. Going, fuck uh, the Jags. I can't. And they're the home team, which is so. So that so they're playing the Chargers. Um, they just uh, beat Jack's Titans, but so you can tell he's a little salty. There was a, a win and get in, win for the or play for the division, basically. Yeah. Uh, and they started our boy. So th- and this was a hard one because we had our nine and eight on the line for Stewart to get to nine wins for the Jags. We also had uh, our one B, our favorite, other favorite quarterback on the show, Josh Dobbs, pop culture rehab legend. Um, so they played this pat. Was it Thursday? When, when was this game? Thursday Saturday. Night. It was Thursday, Thursday night. Yeah. Thursday night. Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, what? Thursday. No, Thursday. It was Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday night. Um, and Jacksonville made it. Not, they got their ninth win into the playoffs. Trevor Lawrence and the boys are rolling, and uh, they take on Los Angeles. Yeah, they didn't the even score round. a touchdown in the fourth quarter. Their defense had to do it. They looked pretty yeah. bad. That defense looks it. nasty, though. Foye Luakon is a their offense master. stuttered a little bit against the Titans. Definitely, no, hundred percent. And and this. And uh, I'll go. I'll go first on this one. I, I I think this is where it ends. I think this is where it ends for Jacksonville. I think they are. I, I I said said it during the breakdown in the beginning of the year. I think that they are a young team that has they're very formidable. And I think Doug Peterson's the right guy. And I think they're going to keep making noise. I think they've got he's got them all bought in. Like I said at the beginning of the year, if they got that to happen, it was going to be nice. He got that to happen. Uh, he either into the playoffs. But I think that this is going to be the end of this year for them. But this started something good for them. But I think I think Los Angeles is going to be too much. I think the Chargers are going to uh, look pretty good in this game. This this is the other game that I think could get out of hand. I think Austin Eckler might ro- go pretty crazy in this game. I think that they're going to go out there and just do what they need to do. And uh, I think they're healthy, right? They got all their receivers. Is Ke- yeah, Keenan yeah, they're, and Mike they're healthy and- back? Yeah. Well, I, actually, Mike was dealing with something <clears throat> this week. Uh, I don't know what his status is for the game yet. But like Derwin James is back, all the yep. boys in defense. Yep. Okay, yeah, I, I, I I'm gonna there. Take, okay, I'm gonna take the Chargers in this one. Okay. I'm not gonna go with my uh, my brain with my mind, but I'm gonna go with my heart, and I'm gonna go Jaguars. This you is this is going to be the closest game of the wild card round. This is going to be a very tight game, and the only reason it's going to be tight is because the Jaguars are at home. But I think they're going to squeak by. I really think Doug EP, man, all, so much respect for what he's done so Savage. quickly and changed the culture of that team that I think they're going to surprise you. Yeah, that'd be sick. I'd love that. So, so yeah. my thoughts beyond this game, and I'll try to make this as quick as possible. The Chargers are actually only a one point favorite in this game, which is surprising to me. I would think, you know, there should be a higher, they, they're, I think, Whoops. a better football team, but we'll leave it at that. This is really a battle between Justin Herbert and Trevor Lawrence, and this is kind of a reputation on the line. One interesting stat I found out before this game is that um, Herbert threw 100 more attempts but had only 600 more passing yards and had the same amount of touchdowns as Trevor Lawrence this year. Trevor Lawrence is starting to become a superstar, yeah. and and he's really good, and I don't think anybody expects them to win this game. Um I think this team's future, like Nick says, really bright. You have Calvin Ridley coming on this team next year. It's going to look really like very much improved. They're trending in the right direction. I think the Chargers are upset about that loss last year against the Raiders that, that stopped their playoff dreams. 
I think the Chargers have enough in the bag to to push them across the finish line. But I agree with Stu. I think this is going to be one of the closer matches in the in the division round, so or in the wild card round. So uh, I'm going to go with the Chargers on this one, though. I found this to be the hardest game to pick. Um, I, I I don't know if it's going to be close. I think it, it might be close, but um, I this is this one was difficult. I suspect that we get a game, uh, you know, a a game that we haven't really seen from Justin Herbert all year. Um, this coming weekend, that's kind of what I expect. Um, in a good way I, or bad way? In a good way. In a good way. Sorry, that's, a, that's where, he's, a, where he's not overthrowing everybody. Exactly. Exactly. We, we really haven't seen vintage Justin Herbert yet. What we've seen in the last couple seasons. Um, I think that gets remedied this week. I would love to pick the Jags, but I'm I'm gonna go Chargers too. All right. Yeah. So everybody Chargers except for myself, right? Yes, sir. Cool. Love it. Moving on up. Moving on up. NFC or AFC side. North. AFC North rivals. I think Another, this could be a good game because they have a, a lot of one. bad blood, right? Especially right now. Yeah. So we got the Ravens versus the defending AFC champions. The Let me jump right in Bengals. here. This is a sweep. This is easy. Bengals. No, no commentary needed. It's it's it's, oh. it's Joey. Uh, it's Joey B time, baby. You guys, you guys all agree. I, I, I'm, I I'm, kind of do agree. I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree, and I'm going to say Lamar Jackson goes. See, I don't think this Lamar's is the last play. season in Baltimore. Yeah, I don't think Lamar's going to play, and I think it's what he should do. I think they should have paid him. And I think they should, uh, if I was him, uh, the fact that he was already kind of hurt um, and, and this, I think he should sit out the year, make him start that fucking bum that they just started this past weekend and, and let the Bengals, let the Bengals roll daddy. That's what that would only hurt thing. Lamar Jackson to play this game. Cause even if he, even if he like sums, you know, he, he wills himself into this game, yada, yada. If he plays bad, that's going to be bad for contract even, even worse yeah. so now you've got yeah injury worries and he's been playing like <laughs> he comes back and plays like shit so it's one of those things where lamar I, i've heard rumble i didn't you know i actually heard rumblings this week of like the the new york jets there's like they, they might actually go after lamar if he if he ends up leaving and could you oh, imagine wow. lamar and the jets Dude, that'd be Good nasty Lord. Yeah, um, they'd be instantly be a playoff team just be yep. so gross but i i agree i think i think lamar i think they don't i think he doesn't play this week i think they get rolled and i think um lamar is out of there so Yep. Are we Bengals. unanimous on yeah. Bengals? That's the only unanimous one yes, we've had thus far, guys. Yes, cool. sir. Yep. Not bad. Who that? Okay. Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? I said a who that? Who that? They're who but, they? This last game, it's uh, it's this... unfortunate for Mike McDaniel's. I'm such a huge Mike McDaniel's fan, but yeah. it the, the it stops here. Uh oh. Does it? Yes. It's the the Bills are my Super Bowl pick. I gotta go. Add. Do, gotta you think it's bad. Do, you, do you think it's close? Or do you think it's high, like just a high scoring shootout? <laughs> Who's starting at quarterback for the Dolphins? Are, are they going to have Tua? Is it be oh, Skyler? Yeah. Is it Skyler again? I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I don't know. I mean, three concussions on the year for the guy. Yeah, there's no two, way. Tua, and he throws the ball left handed. We've mentioned that many times on the podcast, but I just I don't know why you would roll him there's out no there. Way. He hasn't so. been cleared, so. When is this game? Is this a Saturday game or Sunday game? Uh, this is going to be Sunday. Sunday in Buffalo. It's going to be a all high the emotion, of all the emotion of oh. the of you know their Dolan or whatever his name is get, coming out of the hospital and all that stuff. So I think there's going to be a lot of incentive for the Bills to show out. I think. So that what might time is that game? Them. What time is that game? Is it a is that the night game? No, it's no, a one it's p.m. Going to be the one uh, p.m. The new- Okay, so during the day it is a it's 30, 33 uh, degrees, seven mile power wind, six percent, six percent chance of rain snow mix. So it's a summer day at Buffalo. Yeah, normal summer. <laughs> day. So, so it's actually not bad for Buffalo. Yeah, so, but even then, earlier this year, the Dolphins still had heaters on their sideline when they were last up at Buffalo, and it was like fifty degrees. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're they're used to. I mean, they literally sweat people out of their stadium. I don't know if you've seen that, but like they sit on that sideline with all the shade, and they put yep. their opponents in the sun, and they're like over there cramping up and shit like that because of how hot it gets in Miami. It's a twenty degree difference. Yeah, it's fucking. It's like wild. the difference between being in one hundred and ten and like ninety degree weather. 
Yeah. So like if you it's it's wild. Like if you ever actually see like a picture like in the middle of the game, like you like they'll like do like an up up of you and like you can't see the dolphins players because they're in shade. And then you just see like where the shade ends and you just see like all these dudes frying on the bench. It's just like fuck. Uh but as far as that uh, as far as that goes, I agree. I think that Buffalo is going to win this game. I don't think the Dolphins have I mean if, if Tua doesn't start, this is a fucking wrap. I mean, that's I there's no way Tua started. Right. I mean, there, like, like Jackson, there's no way three. Could you imagine if he came back and got another concussion? I mean, they might actually have to <laughs> the like media have to retire. That would do. There might be lawsuits there. Like yeah, for, there for might already be more concussions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that that's Through pretty that. fucking bad. So, uh, but I'm with you. I, I think, I think the Buffalo wills are coming back. I think they're going to come back with vengeance. I think they're ready to go. I think we are going, I mean, I know we said we're not going any further, but I think that it is, I think Bills Chiefs is one of those things that we are, you know, Bills Bengals will be interesting. So I, you know, I can't go ahead and say they're going to beat the Bengals, but like Bills Chiefs just feels like it's something that we are going to see a couple times. You know, I feel like that's just it's too yeah. good of a matchup. And Alan I think we're going. Yeah, hey, can you believe Mahomes is the oldest quarterback in the in the playoffs this year? So, no, just in the AFC. Just in the, the AFC. AFC. Yeah, in the yeah. AFC. I was gonna say Kirk Cousins and Tom Brady have something. To yeah, say. yeah. That's what I meant, though. Yeah, yeah. He's Isn't a little older. He, he's a couple years older than Tom. Um, that's nuts, though. It's a new era, man. Yep. Yeah, that is super wild. Twenty-seven years old, and he's the oldest fucking quarterback in the in the uh, AFC. So, but good. So, but so real quick. So we'll we'll go back and we'll look at our picks just to make sure. But right now, since I can't remember because I have dementia, I'm just gonna go ahead and say Philly uh, Philly Bills. That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, wait, hold on. We gotta get Jack uh, J- Jack's pick for that game. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought Jack it's, said it's Bills. the it's the Bills. I got the Bills and okay. Vikings in my Super Bowl. So yeah, that's gonna be that would that yeah, would honestly he, be the best Super Bowl in my opinion, just because of what it would mean to those fan bases collectively. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take the Bills as well. I agree. So two unanimous. We got Bills and Bengals as yeah, our. Bengals. Actually, I, th- I think we're the gimme ones. If, if two was playing and it wasn't in Buffalo, I think it'd be a different story. But I agree. Uh, wow, we'll see. I can't believe Stu turned on the Ravens like that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild. They dude. didn't win my thirteen. Damn it! Fuck them. Well, we told you that. <laughs> <laughs> Silly guy. Uh, all right, so that's it. So that's it this week. Uh, next week we will, when you know, we'll see how these games play out this weekend. We'll come back next week with a little breakdown of how they went. Um, we will may- maybe, maybe Saturday. You know, we haven't been doing a lot of spaces. Uh, we've been kind of slacking on those. Maybe Saturday night. You know, maybe we'll get like a an end of the day just to recap on everything. You know, maybe this sometime this weekend we'll go live for you guys and we'll and we'll get some reactions. If not, we'll see you guys next Tuesday, next Wednesday. We'll record next Tuesday. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. And we will talk more about uh, what happened in these and we'll break down the next round. Uh, But as far as that goes, make sure you like our show, subscribe, hit the button. uh, All of the above are everywhere. Like I said, we got fucking intro daddy down there. We got our goddamn uh, clip daddy over here. So find out where I'll be next week. Yeah. Where, where will top G be next week? Find out. But on that note, we'll see, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. You guys have a good one. We'll see you next week. Peace. Bye.